It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, it's going to be a great one today. We've gotten to Friday. We're through the week. It's almost the end of the workday. And uh, we need a masterpiece Friday. We need a masterpiece that is going to lift our spirits to uh, what is a holiday weekend here uh, in, in America. And uh, I decided to go with the doors. I have enjoyed the little bit of the music from them that I have heard previously. So I am relying on our friend Janine, who has sent in to me L.A. Woman from the doors that's what we're doing today and i'm pumped to get to this one we've only heard the doors three times uh, previously on the channel uh, i heard soft parade and riders on the storm and when the music's over and uh with uh, la woman this is the title track to what is their sixth album and that was released in april of 1971 and I think that uh, as I'm looking at the list here, that Riders on the Storm is the only other song on this album that I've heard. Um, and as Riders on the Storm closes out the album, we've got L.A. Woman uh, closing out side one. And it's the longest track on the entire album at almost eight minutes uh, in length. And as I mentioned uh, when we listened to Riders on the Storm, this album was sadly the last one to feature vocals from uh, Jim Morrison because he died between two and three months after this album was released. And uh, it's a sad thing because I, uh, from what I've seen of him and heard of him as I've gotten to know him a little bit, he's a very enigmatic person, isn't he? And but uh, with a voice and uh, a sense of lyric and, and spoken word that is quite intriguing. And I'm curious to see what he's going to do next. So uh, I'm curious to see what L.A. Woman sounds like. Um, this is a song that is interpreted as a type of goodbye from Jim Morrison to Los Angeles as he moved uh, to Paris soon after the recording sessions for this album were complete. And uh, the lyrics themselves take inspiration from a novel called City of Night by John Reshi. And in there, Jim is talking about the city itself as the personification of a woman. So L.A., a woman from L.A., or L.A. as the woman herself. Uh, I'm intrigued, and I'm looking forward to hearing what this one is all about. It comes highly recommended. We've got Jim Morrison on vocals. Ray Manzarek is on the Wurlitzer piano and the Fender Rhodes electric piano. Uh, Robbie Krieger is on lead guitar and John Dinsmore is on the drums. Uh, with them in these sessions is Jerry Sheff on the bass and Mark Benno on rhythm guitar. So I'm going to the original uh, studio recording. Friends, it's L.A. Woman from The Doors and it goes like this. Here we go. Woo! Is that a car? Or a guitar? What the hell? That was a heck of a way to get me into this. Sounds like it's in A. Yeah, they are. This is cool. That's Mixolydian. It's an A, but it's A major. But they're consistently using the lower seventh. Are you a lucky little lady in the city of lights? Are you a lucky little lady in the city of lights? Or did you know the lost thing, y'all? City of night. Yeah. City of night. City of night. That's subtonic. City of night. Whoa! Stay there. Yeah. 
Major scale, but with a lowered seven. Sunday afternoon with his LA woman. Into your blues. Into your blues. Yeah. He's got such a color. The, could they not get a, a piano that's in tune? The kind of barroom feel to it, though, adds to the decor of the piece. So I guess it works. lettuce with me, but I didn't today. Did it kind of go back to A, but A minor?
I got to listen to the whole album. I just do. I can only imagine the musical experience that it would be, especially if you're elevated a little bit, if you know what I mean. And you get to the end of side one and you get a driving tune like L.A. Woman. And then you turn it over and, and I don't know what the sounds are, but then you end up with Riders on the Storm. Ooh. I got to listen to the whole album. I really do. And I got to get to it relatively soon. So maybe we'll put that in a poll at some point, y'all. I did read that the whole uh, Mr. Mojo Ryzen, um, and so it's Mr. Mojo, M-O-J-O-R-I-S-I-N, apostrophe. So if you leave out the G, Mr. Mojo Ryzen is an anagram of Jim Morrison, of his name. So I think Jim is Mr. Mojo Ryzen. Um, and if that's an anagram of his name, then he was just meant to be uh, Mr. Mojo. Uh, I think that was a personification there. And the lyrics are very um, evocative of, of describing L.A., and all the places around the city and turning them into metaphors for uh, a woman and uh, and a personality to go with that, right? And uh, I see your hair is burning, hills are filled with fire. If they say I never loved you, you know they are a liar. Driving down your freeway, freeways, midnight alleys roam, cops and cars, the topless bars, never saw a woman so alone. Motel money, murder madness. Let's okay. It's it's just fascinating, right? I've never been to L.A., so I only know of it what I've seen uh, depicted and what I've heard people talk about it. It seems like uh, a very different and singular type of place, and it's hard for me to comment on it. But uh, it's it sounds like a place that you both love and hate. You develop a relationship with. Um, and I guess that's kind of like any place that you end up living or spending a whole lot of time in. Uh, you love the great things and you tend to resent the things that, that bug you, you know. But uh, he apparently loved L.A., but uh, he decided that he needed to move to Paris. And it wasn't too much long later that he ended up passing away, sadly. Uh, but we have this last album, L.A. Woman, by The Doors, uh, uh, as them, uh, as the band is is performing and recording with uh, Jim before he died, that's the last one, uh, and that means I, I definitely now that I have a little bit more of a fascination with Jim himself, I, I want to dive into more of his written word and more about him and the other people in the band and get to know them because they can play a groove, can they not? That was fun friends and a great way to finish off our friday masterpiece friday uh episode here uh it's always great to get back to music from the doors so uh thanks to janine for making sure that this one got on my radar and thanks to y'all for hanging out with me today this has been fun we'll see you next time and next week on another edition of the daily doug it's the daily doug welcome to the daily doug the day.